Hi, my name is Jeff Cranny and I'm the inventor of the lock straps, locking tie down straps. We really put a lot of time and effort into building the lock straps. And one of the things I wanted to show you is the time and effort that went into this piece right here. One of the things I hate about regular tie down straps is these slip. And that's why a lot of people say you need to use ratchet straps. I've never really liked ratchet straps. I like the pull straps like this. And so what we did is we made the teeth extra large and we actually rolled the teeth. So they're uh, larger in the back and smaller towards the front. So as you pull on this, you'll see this button just dig in to the strap and it doesn't slip. As hard as you may pull on it, it won't slip. If you don't want someone to loosen this, uh, we get emails asking like, what if they loosen this and this, this uh, could they lift this over something? If you don't want someone to loosen this, you can tie it as many times as you need to to get rid of the slack like this, right? And then put this up here and lock it inside of there. And this way, no one can loosen your lock strap either. If you ever notice on the regular tie down straps that you purchase, it'll say, pull over and check your loads every 20 to 50 miles because S hooks can pop off and come loose. These will never come loose. So we don't have to put that on ours. Uh, it's a completely rounded carabiner. The other thing is, is we have combination locks on both sides of the strap and we have a stainless steel cable inside the strap which is held together with galvanized steel rivets. That way, if someone come to steal your stuff, your stuff will actually be attached to your vehicle. What's up, I'm Vince Friese, professional supercross and motocross racer. Um, I've been a long time user of the lock strap and uh, it's, it's uh, been a huge asset to me, you know, driving to and from the track and making those long stops at uh, restaurants and gas stations and stuff like that, leaving my truck alone for an hour at a time at a parking lot. Uh, it's really a lot of peace of mind for me, you know, knowing that, that my bike and my tools and everything like that are locked in there safe. and. Um, actually the biggest way it's it's been an asset to me is is I actually got my truck stolen and because I had that the lock strap and, and I had it going through a lot of the really expensive stuff that I had in the bed of my truck it uh it was considered attached to my truck so that that made the insurance cover all of that where if it would have just been sitting in the back of my truck or just a normal tie down it, it wouldn't have covered that. At Lockstraps, we have a variety of products to choose from. We have different sizes, different lengths. We have a two foot strap, which is perfect for helmets, for street bikes, maybe your bicycle. It's great. I use it for my jacket. You can put it through the sleeve of your jacket and lock it to your, your bike or to whatever you need to. We offer a single combination locking carabiner, which is perfect for trailer chains, helmets, even locking your other tie down straps inside your pickup truck. There are multiple uses for the single combination locking carabiner. One of them I have here with me today is a 24 foot long uh, lock strap. It's got the stainless steel cable inside of it. It's got the galvanized steel rivets in it. But what really separates this apart from other locks on the market is it's very light. Even though it's 24 feet long, I can throw it around. It only weighs three pounds. So I can throw this into a backpack or a camel back or in a saddle bag or something. And I've got 24 feet of locking strap to lock whatever I need to, to lock down. The lock straps were designed to detour many types of tools commonly used in theft. So we've tested with bolt cutters. We've tested with knives. We've tested with a pair of dikes. We've tested with tin snips. We've actually sent them in and got CE certifications. One of the key elements about the lock straps is the stainless steel cable that is inside the strap. When people first see the strap, they may not see it, but it's embedded in between the two straps. So if a thief comes to your valuables with his pocket knife and tries to cut through it, when he hits the stainless steel cable, he'll be stopped in his tracks. With the industry that I'm involved with, we're always carrying around expensive product in the back of our truck uh, via motorcycle, dirt bikes, uh, jet skis, mountain bikes. You want to protect your investment. One time driving home from the track, stopped in, grabbed a bite to eat, 15, 20 minutes max. Came out after eating and noticed that somebody had tried to get through my strap, tried to get my bike. My lock strap has saved my bike. It's here with me now. If you have something expensive, toy, investment, protect it as I have with Lockstraps. At Lockstraps, we offer you peace of mind 
by securing your valuables with quality products at an affordable price.